who we're going to be paying, who our actual gas supplier is. A year ago, this just felt like a dream. We weren't counting on this at all. You pass these two fence stations, you go off the road, and it's the same again. This is as close as anybody's been allowed since the volcano started erupting. The BBC News Channel. More than just the headlines. Hello, good afternoon. This is BBC News. I'm Ben Brown. Our headlines at five. After the budget, a leading think tank warns that millions of middle-income families will be worse off next year. But the Chancellor says the economy is improving. People should have reassurance that because of the plan we put in place a year ago to ensure that our economy now is recovering strongly, more people are in work and wages are rising, we can face the future with a bit more confidence. The Transport Secretary confirms the remaining seven countries on England's travel red list will be removed. Arrivals from Colombia, Peru, Panama, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, Venezuela and Ecuador will not need to quarantine in a hotel. The teenager who murdered two sisters in what he believed was a satanic sacrifice is sentenced to life in prison with a minimum of 35 years. The mother of Bieber Henry and Nicole Smallman says he should never be released. Come 35 years time, they won't give him, they won't let him out. They won't let him out. I won't let them let them out. A British trawl has been seized by France and another has been fined amid an escalating row over post-Brexit fishing rights. Heavy rain hits northern England and southern Scotland. Homes have been flooded in Cumbria and the council in Hoyk has advised people in at-risk areas to consider plans for evacuating. Hello, good afternoon. The Chancellor has been defending his budget, saying the government is investing in public services, future growth and people's skills and prioritising those on the lowest incomes. But a leading economic think tank has predicted that millions of people in the UK will be worse off in the short term because of tax increases and the rising cost of living. The Institute of Fiscal Studies predicts that for many middle income families, living standards will fall 